now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for July 24th. As we begin day 205 of the year, July 24th, 2021, uh, Nepatak was named. However, we don't actually agree as of right now. It is a tropical storm. Uh, so when it forms, it will be the 44th storm of the year. Elsewhere in the West Pacific, uh, Sempaka is dying. Uh, Infa is weakening just before its landfall. Jumping into the Atlantic, currently on day 54 of hurricane season, 90L was designated today. Uh, currently, it remains as a 50% chance in five days from now. Elsewhere in the East Pacific on day 70 of hurricane season, 98E continues with a 50% chance of formation. An uninvested area of interest currently remains at 10%. So here's a closer look at the West Pacific. Uh, Sempaka right now is a remnant low currently inland over Vietnam. Uh, Infa is down to a tropical storm, continuing its track north-northwest towards China. Uh, Nipatak is a tropical disturbance uh, heading towards Japan. Uh, we are not sure why it was named. Uh, it's a complete puzzle to us, basically. And in the North Indian, it's quiet as per usual for this time of year. Monsoonal activity is still ongoing in this part of the world. Going back into the North Atlantic, viewing the satellite imagery, 90L appears to be trucking, trucking along excuse me, uh, just fine, uh, given a 50% chance of development in 5 days. In the East Pacific, 98E is continuing development near the Central Pacific, however don't get your hopes up for Hone just yet, as this system is not forecast to intensify it over in the Central Pacific. Uh, this system, however, could move into the Central Pacific late this weekend or early next week, and it could become a tropical depression during that same time frame, uh, before reaching cooler sea surface temperatures. This system it currently remains at a 50% chance of formation in 5 days. There is also an uninvested area of interest which currently remains at 10% off the southern coast of Mexico. Infa is now a tropical storm uh, heading towards China. Uh, Sempaka is dying over the Vietnam coastline. Uh, disturbance near Partak uh, will eventually make its way towards Japan. There are no invests right now in the North Indian Ocean and there's no tropical activity, no nothing apart from all of this monsoonal activity that is still ongoing that is on your screen right about now. The West Pacific remains incredibly warm with 30 plus degree temperatures either side of the Philippines. Uh, the North Indian is maintaining 28 degree temperatures due to the monsoonal activity that is still ongoing. Uh, the tropical Atlantic is still fairly warm, the tropical East Pacific is getting warm, the subtropical East Pacific is slowly warming up, and it's pretty cool over in the Central Pacific. Sea surface temperature anomalies, the East Pacific area from Baja California all the way to Hawaii and, slow and slightly past Hawaii uh, remains cooler than average. There's a spot in the subtropics of the Atlantic which remains uh, below average. Uh, most of it remains above average. Uh, the tropical Atlantic is right now ma uh, maintaining at or above average uh, temperatures. Um, the same story with the North Indian, uh, mostly above average apart from a small spot with, of cooler than average temperatures um, off the coast of Somalia in the West Central Arabian Sea. And I want to bring up the Sea of Japan, which uh, right now is abnormally above average, and a spot below Japan that is cooler than average right about now. 
On this day in 1990, we had two systems taking the spotlight today, one of them being Hurricane Hernan, which was coming off of its peak uh, right now. The other one, Hurricane Isel, was approaching its peak on this day. Uh, Typhoon Steve was also active in the West Pacific. Uh, as of right now, it remains as a tropical storm, but it will soon become a typhoon, but it will not hit any land areas. Up next in the Atlantic Storm naming list, we have Fred followed by Grace. Up next in the East Pacific, we have Hilda followed by Ignacio. And over in the Central Pacific, uh, it's not coming anytime soon, but the next name on the list is Hone. Over in the West Pacific, the storm names on list 4. Up next is Lupit, followed by Mirine. Over in the North Indian, the next name on the list is Gulab, followed by Shaheen. Up next in the Australian region, the next name on this list is Paddy, followed by Ruby. First up in the Southwest Indian for the third time this year is Anna, followed by Batsirai. And finally, up next in the Fiji region is Cody, followed by Dovi. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.